What is good? We're back with a fresh crack. We got a little tripod. We got the Matt and Jason tripod. Ba, 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 ba. That was good yeah. for craft. Yeah. Craft uh, so seltzer. What do we got here? What do we got here? Ooh. Arri! It's a Spanish beer. Ay, papi. All right. So we're about halfway through the season here. We didn't do any live stream this week. Apologies, but we had to take the kiddos trick or treating and didn't want to come back in here and rush it and wanted to. Plus, I was drinking heavily during the uh, <laughs> was, trick or treating. That was hanging. Our neighborhood crushes it. It's just a big party. You get a big old crew together, walk down the road. You can't drive through it. I don't yeah. know why people drive on a Monday night. Jerks trying to get around. It's a good time. But. We're here. We'll be back. We'll be back though. So Mondays nine nine fifteen. We'll hit the stream up doing the same thing we've been doing. We've been going nine fifteen. Okay. Now, so just be ready. All right. Gotta I'm, keep you on I'm, the toes. I'm here. Yeah. Um, we'll be back doing the same thing we've been doing. Questions, answers. Um, you know, reviewing some games, all that good stuff on Mondays. Uh, but today, this week, just gonna have one one show. Break some things out of it. Uh, but we're going to very serious show. We're taking this very serious. Yeah. Brought my formal attire. We're going to hit some little midseason rankings, dynasty wise, not rest of season. Just kind of going to play with some of the rankings of guys. Have a little bit RBs, of fun here. The running we're going to go running backs, of course. Establish the run, baby. And, uh, you know, so let's let's have a little fun here. Let's figure out who we like in, in the top 10, 12 ish. Maybe we'll get a little deeper. Maybe we won't. It's, it's, it's hard out. It's hard out there right now. I got them, it pretty deep here. For them RBs. So um, be sure to like, subscribe, comment below if, if you haven't already, like a doofus. Um, you got to be told what to do. Oh, okay. Oh, I'm going to do yeah. it now that you That'll told me. I'm going to put a, a review. Then I'll do it. Oh, yeah. Five stars. Let me get them. All five of them. fingers? Five fingers, five stars. What are the what five are... fingers set of the face? <laughs> Slap. <laughs> All right. So, boys, number one. For a while has been Jonathan Taylor. Um, obviously a slow start or a, a, a fast start for, for JT. And then, you know, been a slow roll since then. The Colts have been kind of banged up. Bad offense, bad offensive line. Um, and then JT's been banged up and then came back this week. Thought maybe he was healthy, was looking all right. And then this, the the... The ankle was the size of the golf of a, I would say golf ball, but a grapefruit. We'll go grapefruit. Can cantaloupe. Cantaloupe. Yeah. Honeydew. Um, small, and, and small. Very cantaloupe. big. <laughs> Did not look good uh, coming off that field there. Uh, so, you know, we love, we live in a. Four. That was, no, this week. This week. He, oh, he, also, he had an ankle sprain in week four. I know. I'm saying he was injured. He came back. We thought he was right. And then he was doing all right in this game. And then um, I believe you, you were citing something of. Um, what was it? Yeah, it was like seven yards per carry before the ankle got re-injured and then three after. I mean, he came back in the game. So. Right. Didn't look great, though, and, and that the Colts offense is kind of a mess right now. The Colts was once a, a, a team that you felt pretty good about everything, and now yeah. it's a bunch of meh. Yeah, um, the O-line is not playing well per PFF, 27th ranked pass blocking unit, 30th ranked run blocking ugh. unit. Uh, they made a change in week five where they moved, they, they inserted the third round rookie at left tackle uh, move prior to right tackle. Braden goes to right guard. They just, just can't it figure up. it out. You got yeah. a third round rookie playing left tackle, bench the quarterback. Now you they know. fire their offensive coordinator today. Yeah. Right. So it's and don't don't ask what his name is because I have no idea what it is. A little bit of turmoil in, in Indy right now, and we live in a world of a ton of recency bias. He was once Trent he was once Trent Richardson at one point in his rookie year. There's probably some people who say he stinks again now because God he isn't producing for my fantasy team right now, and I picked him number one overall in redraft and dynasty. So I don't this is garbage. He stinks. Got is him. It, is that the case? Is, Got him. Is, is, has has he been dethroned as the RB one uh, in in dynasty for either one of you guys? Because I'll, I'll just say no for me. Yeah, I have Daryl Henderson as my uh, RB one. <laughs> Fucking, clown. I know that's hogwash. Fucking You'd clown. never give that man any due. You don't like Daryl. No, I don't. And, why, and why, be it's, I don't give it. He's fucking trash. And the they started Ronnie fucking Rivers over <laughs> in this past week. 
Ronnie fucking Rivers. Gets you some How'd that work out for him anyway? Not well, uh, Bob. Right. I mean, Rivers was playing half decent, but this Kyron's back then. Anyways, oh. yeah, the answer to the question is JT is still one is still RB1. I couldn't. I didn't get that far. I wanted to make a discussion of this and maybe figure it out as I go here, but I couldn't put anyone above Jonathan Taylor as yeah, one. It, one. It's, it'd be the only logical right now would be Brees. Right. And be- if he was still playing, crushing, uh, yeah. and not in the ACL, then maybe I could there see would, doing that. Yeah. But I just couldn't do it. You're getting no. kind of a reboot there. If you if you want to, you know, just move back. You're you're turning the clocks back a little bit on on two years. Brees and and you you've seen enough of him to to know that he was coming on. The Jets had some offensive line woes as well, and yeah. but he was still performing. Uh, admirably, Catching a ton of passes too, showing the hands off. Um, so kind of got everything you want with with the athleticism, showing the big plays. Um, you know, just. Just, you know, not quite on the offense that maybe you necessarily want it to be, but looks showing signs of maybe if we could get a some better quarterback play, the Jets offense could be uh, super I strong. I don't give a so. shit how good the Jets offense is. I just care how well Brees Hall's playing. Right. So, but I mean, obviously you want them to be a good offense, but at the keeping, end of the day. Everybody's keeping Brees basically behind Taylor right now. Sure. Any? I, I have, a, I have a, a, a tier. I expanded my tier one from just Jonathan Taylor. To Jonathan and Brees, I guess. That's also what I have. Okay, I like that. So JT uh, in one, Brees in another. N- nobody else competing for those those top spots. Just yes, sir. Is, would the other guys that maybe could have the talent and the scoring potential just be too old right now yes. for you to be up in there? Yes, that's that, correct. That right. be what's They're in tier two. C- they are Saquon and CMC out of the Tier debate. two right next to them. Our, our J, J. Wayne, our rankings are probably going to be very similar. C and I die here. I don't know what to do after that. I got like a large ass tier four, but no, tier my, three I feel pretty good about. Tier, I thought you were just saying you had a large ass. <laughs> well, well. Well, it is large, and I'm fat, so it's like a combo <laughs> platter. It just uh, it exacerbates it. it the exacerbates it. The poo-poo platter, if you will. No, 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 no. All right, so JT staying staying at one, expanded tier. Brees moving up in there. I could be okay with with going either way, and we maybe we'll get an entry from this class to maybe expand that one more. Well, yeah. possibly. Bajan, would you? So that's a good question. Would you trade Jonathan Taylor for the one one in a twenty three rookie class draft? No. I don't think so. I don't think so. That's uh, inconclusive for me. Inconclusive. Yeah. Haven't set eyes on a ton of Bajan. I mean, I've watched a decent amount of him. I just I don't, he I don't, looks fucking. Good. He's great. I mean, he he's he's answering the bill. Looks looks as advertised. But uh, you know, I, I need he has I really like, need to dive in there before I can make any. He choices. has. I, I know some people would just say no. Uh, yeah, for sure. Yeah, hundred percent. I don't know. I, I think there's enough people. What I was going to say, like he has. Saquon hype. He has Jonathan Taylor hype. He has more than Brees he's Hall more than, hype. He's got more than Jonathan. Like, Jonathan Taylor did not have this much hype coming in. Ceh was able to overtake him. Right. True. Like he, for yeah. hype wise, he's yeah. got like Saquon hype. You know, yes, people have been correct. looking forward to Sa- him. Saquon Z for those, a couple yes. of years yep. and know that he's going to be the first player off the board. Oh, and I think just the consensus an, alone would be that they're probably putting Bijan up there as the one one. Yeah. I mean, they would trade it, yeah, basically I mean, anyone to get that pick. I think there's a re- a really reasonable chance that that ex- that tier expands to to three. I think I think I'm more comfortable putting him at three than putting him at one. Right, a yeah. lot more comfortable. But the tier actually. one could expand to three yes. players. That's what you're saying, right? Yes, as immediately as the day after the draft. I think everyone who was slightly hesitant to do that with Brees this this year, um, and then and and he's made it. Yeah, pretty clear th- that he can he can be right there. Yeah, yeah the, the, him going him going to the Jets was obviously not great with Carter being there, and then obviously it being mm-hmm. the Jets. So, but I think he's answered the bell there. All right, so we got JT, we got Brees in, in tier one. I'm fine with that. Um, and then so tier two, we mentioned that maybe it would be a a Barkley CMC combo platter. Are they both in there for you? That is correct. And we're not worried about the 25 and 26 age on those guys. I don't know how you would be at this point, right? Yeah, uh, they've both been playing very well. What you said off air, I think, was an amazing point, Casey. The best thing you said all night wasn't even on the mics. Uh, 
we were told that all these fucking old guys coming into this year we, were not going to be any good and they're going to fall off a cliff. We weren't even necessarily told there was a sheet shared with a lot of people basically saying that, you know, the the percentages of the recent recently of running backs over the 27 year old, old threshold and RB1 performance is very minimal and that basically all of these guys are about to fall off the cliff. And we kind of discussed this a few different times. It's like, you know, these may, maybe they're not. We just maybe we just haven't had the right guys, you know, be through here. And, and, and you would think because of the advancements of, you know, sciences and such that you, you should yeah. because you, science where you should be able to start expanding these this lifespan of these guys, especially maybe the guys who, you know, aren't getting banged through the tackles, maybe as much as like a guy like a Zeke. Uh, would have been, uh, you know, and you're seeing, you know, Derrick Henry was kind of bucking that trend a little bit and then got hurt last year, but he's doing it again this year. You got Dalvin doing it again this year. Kareem Hunt looks like he has plenty of juice. Eckler's doing it this year. Kamara went healthy and out there. Uh, lighten it up. Lighten it up. Lenny is not for a lack of uh, juice. It's for a lack of their offensive line is terrible. He's catching a bunch of balls to kind of supplement Raheem Mostert all that. at 30 is serviceable. Right. And they um, just traded Chase Evans, so... Good point with 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 Mostert C-Pat, there. C-Pat, C-Pat had some good games in you know, the year. Yeah, Mostert and C-Pat I maybe tr- a little, little different. Yeah, guys came on a little I later, tr- but you know, fair. Enough. It's, it's, it was more about There's the age. Thir- yeah, exactly. There wasn't necessarily 30. the caveat of mileage in that yeah. particular right um, thing. And then you know, Chubb's crushing it right now. Um, let's see here, Dalvin. Did I say him already? Yeah. So Mixon, you know, he's 20, Mixon's, He was not the oldest guy. He was. He turned twenty. He'll be twenty six. Yeah, he was kind of the soon. the outlier that was a little younger that you were more excited to take the shot on, and he might be the guy who you know. I don't think I'm necessarily concerned about Mixon. It just doesn't I think seem like. I think the whole that whole offense is underperforming, as we saw last night. They look like they were back on track, and then he's twenty six. Yeah, I mean, but he's been getting it done fantasy wise because he's catching more balls, but. Yeah, I mean, all those guys are doing well. CMC is now tied to Shanahan for the rest of his contract, and Saquon's going to get a freshy, fresh contract. Yeah, and if right? it's with the Giants, it doesn't matter yeah, who with. Yeah, exactly. If he's healthy, yeah. he's fucking awesome, and he yeah. carries the whole team. And look at what they're doing with a fresh coach and a fresh Saquon. You know, they did just lose, but like to the Seahawks. But I they mean, were in the game. The boys are phenomenal, and they're carrying your team, and they're they're. High points per game. High, I mean, CMC, it took him like a week. The first week, Tuesday, he gets traded. Learns a playbook on the flight there. Comes in. Looks pretty good. Only puts up like eight PPR points. Next week, fucking 40. Yeah. Like, didn't take them long at all. Right. To just unlock CMC in this rushing yeah. attack. Oh, my God. Like, yeah, I don't have any res- reservation about those guys. Can't put them in tier one because the guys in tier one are 20 three and 21 but you get the extra year with saquon um <clears throat> over cmc over cmc yeah. right it's a year difference there. but you know both of them elite elite playmakers and and i mean you're hoping that you get three more you know you're, you're playing in kind of three year increments i would assume sure. now they were both untouchable coming into this season because they're fucking hurt and they've been right. they're glass they're and, walking and, on glass these right. glass fucking guys now look at them Right, you know, fucking that, that's, crushing you. That's the problem with the running fuck backs. Out of here with these injuries right now is you know everybody's so worried and concerned about injury, and then you lose a year, and then all of a sudden, and then you know, they crush for eight games, and no one cares anymore. You're about 26 those going on 30, and yeah. running back years for a lot of people. So, um, you know that that can scare people off, and I'm sure some people don't like the fact that you got Saquon and CMC up there. So I, I, I would basically, How can, I don't understand what the argument against them would be. They're right. 25 and 26. They're right. not 30. They're just just a little too old to be taken that high in a, okay, in a draft. Okay, cool. Then trade them to me at a discount. Right. And at some, you know, at some point we talk about it a lot. It's it's this game's about fucking winning. You play to win the right. game. You don't you don't need to be ridiculous about it. And this year you were getting some of those older guys at a little bit of a discount. And I was not going to say I wasn't scared to take some of those guys, but I was certainly fine taking Saquon and CMC. Um, I don't give a shit about the injuries. I knew how good they were. Some of those yeah. other guys I was a little bit concerned about, but they're all they were also a little younger and now they're, you know, even maybe a year away from what we were concerned with with that a little bit older class of the Dalvins and such. So I'm I'm fine with that. Saquon and CMC kind of which coming order in there? I'd probably put Saquon first just because he's a year younger. But I mean, they're same tier. That's fine. I have CMC over Barkley just because of the insane rushing. I mean, the insane in perceiving. Right. But Barkley's receiving's been decent. And this is the guy that's 
taking Saquon to the Dashboard Confessionals concert. <laughs> it's confessional. It's not multiple confessions. The real question is, 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 is who's next and what is it? I know Javante preseason would have been in here. How far yeah. down the list has he gone for you? Um, what, what would be next for who, who's got a good answer? For, is it Swift next? Nope. I think the next tier for me would have Swift in it. Nope. So that, that's the end of that tier? Yep. Yeah. I think that's fair. Yeah, next tier. I'm going to blow you guys away with my next pick. Tier three. My okay. RB5. Kenneth Walker. Kenneth Walker the third. Oh, 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 oh. Well, let's just let the electrical equipment because I'd throw this fucking beer in the sky. <laughs> yeah, we need this paint to settle back yeah. here on these fresh new uh, built-ins. Yeah. They're work in progress. Yeah, had to take a, some time off to get some built-ins going here. But um, So Kenneth Walker in the next tier for you. Yep. By next himself? Next guy. Or? Five? No, not by himself. He's got. I've got three guys in or the tier. Four? Here. You've got him as your fourth, fifth running back. Fifth. Woo-hoo-hoo. Over Swift? Yep. How Swift much is, time you got, buddy? Swift isn't in this tier. Isn't in the tier? Nope. Mm, that's maybe more mind-blowing than Kenneth Walker not being in there. What What do you got? I got I got Kenneth Walker, Swift, and ETN in this tier. I have Kenneth Walker, ETN, and Javante. Javante stay, still so, buying, so yep. stays in there for you. Yes, sir. I can't argue with that. I could have put him in there. I shoved him down one tier. That's I, and I couldn't. And I think that was I, when I was talking earlier with someone about my rankings. I think having him in this tier at this high with the injury and it could be a little bit more than just the ACL. It could be a bit of a concern, but I mean. What would the Broncos just bring in Chase Edmonds? I'm I'm not I'm not worried about his situation being worse next year. Melvin's going to be gone. Latavius going to be gone. The Broncos brought in Chase. Mm-hmm. That was part of the Chubb deal. Yes. Right. Correct. Um. Yes. Could they draft a running back? Sure, but I don't know why they would. I'm not worried about that necessarily. It's more of like this Broncos offense. Like it's not like it can't, like, you know get, what I it mean? can't get worse. It can't get worse. He's a good player. I'm not too concerned about the injury. You were, you knew Melvin was in there, but he was still really young, so you were buying him, right? And he was properly rated as I, I probably had him. Let me check my other tier from the beginning of the year. I definitely had him in tier two. Uh, and Javante, yeah, because you know he was 22 and a pretty good player, and should have been a. You were very intrigued by this offense in yeah. preseason, yeah, and it's like. You know, they pulled it together and beat the Jags. I don't know if that's fuck. which the Jags have been in every game and are better than their record is. They just are blowing it at the worst fucking times. Yeah. And they haven't figured out how to win yet. Right. And like, so I don't know that the ship's right. I mean, I don't think the ship's right per se, but I think there's a lot of pieces there that are that are intriguing. I mean, you have they didn't three- get rid of Judy. You didn't get rid of Judy. You still they didn't get rid of Hamler either, who was also being shopped as well too, because he was more affordable than Hamler. Mm-hmm. You still have Sutton there. You've got a um, maybe emerging rookie tight end. Yep, Dulcich looks good. Your Russell, def- Russell did hit him with that. Let's ride, baby. At the end of the your interview, your defense just Jags got worse game. by tr- like that. by trading Chubb. I know they just got some guy from the Jets as well too, but he's obviously they got not. a they got a, a pick back from. Trading away, they got a first round pick back, I believe, right? Yes, they did. He was the fifth ever player to get traded for a first round pick in the middle of the season. Yeah, um, I'd probably bump, I'd probably bump Javante out of this tier solely because, and I guess you could maybe make the case a little bit for Swift in that in this regard a little bit, um, but. I feel comfortable if Swift's on the field, the usage will be proper. I just, I'm just slightly concerned about the Broncos. Uh, willingness to use Javante. It's not Javante. I don't think it's a Javante problem. I think I'm more concerned with the Broncos' willingness and how they're deploying running backs currently we, is what's is what's bogging me down. And, and a little bit of the injury because of it hasn't been quite the bounce back with everybody like you'd hope it'd be, especially if there's multiple ligament tears. You got to be maybe, but it's early enough in the season or yeah. was early enough in the season. Sure. I'm okay with that part of it. It's mostly the way that the Broncos have been using the running backs that I don't love. There's also a decent chance that Nathaniel Hackett doesn't make it to year two. That's fair. I mean, new ownership coming in there. They've seen it. They're not looking great. And they have a ton of money. The a Waltons, ton right? of money. The they have kind money. of reassured it and basically be like, we like Nathaniel. We like what's going on. We great. Like, you know, <laughs> I mean, you know, they don't have to say anything, yeah. but 
they they have said that they're not looking to make a change, but I think it's well they won. I think finally. it's okay to to let the Hackett have some growing pains here sure. and give him another give him another chance. So I, you know, or, or you know, if I you want to go the other way, but maybe they let him stay the season. But if he doesn't show, if it doesn't start going in the same, yeah. if it doesn't keep going in the same direction, but I, you know, I I just. Is Russell Wilson a system quarterback? I mean, look what Geno Smith's doing. You know, like, yeah, man, he's like, I, you know, like, no one has made more fun of, like, you got a fucking kicker taking shots at this man. Like, yeah. you know, like, it's just, and no it's one also cares. also the greatest kicker of all time. Right, but, like, no one cares. Like, no one's, like, it's just, I did enjoy that he, he hit you with the let's ride, baby, at the very end of the, the post-game interview. But, like, because he's kind of owning it, you know, which is good because it's like the he's like the laughing stock of the NFL. He's like literally no the one, corniest person on the face of earth. Right. Yeah. It's terrible. And I just I just couldn't squeeze him in this tier. Do you, Casey, do you have Swift in this tier? I would put Swift, uh, yeah, in this tier. Do you have him? I'll, I'll throw Kenneth Walker in there too. Okay. Um, I would like to put ETN in this tier too. Um, I think I think he's kind of teeter, teetering whether he's in this tier, but with those guys or in the next tier with Javante. I think from from what I liked about ETN and how I feel about ETN, I, I feel strongly that he can be in this tier. So I'm okay with just saying, hey, we're in the middle of the season right now. Recency bias on ETN is really strong, um, and I'll throw I could throw ET in this tier, even though I, I think if I was writing these out and getting, I'd probably keep. My expectations a little tempered now you could say you know you're throwing kenneth walker up in there without the expectations being tempered and it's like i like i like the usage that that kenny's getting but but travis is is they've shown the the willingness to lean on him and say hey he's our guy and, and while whilst leaning he's flourished uh quite a bit I mean, that the, line, jag, the jags the line lean, looks pretty good the jags leaned on the etn pretty heavy on sunday and he didn't disappoint there yeah, yeah so 6.21 yards of carry this we'll, move, we'll go swift walker etn i think that's the same thing you had i like that so why walker so high up there I, he's he's playing i mean why wouldn't i he's what is he 22 years old He's playing well. At the end of the day, I mean, we're going to, after this year, I mean, you could just throw shit against the wall and you could have a, a 10 to, or five to eight different guys coming up here and you could make an argument for any of them. So give me the guy who's 22 years old, who's scoring fantasy points on an offense that's somehow good that we didn't expect and they're not going to bring anybody in. They just they just spent a second round pick on him, so fuck it, let's ride. Okay, um, so <clears throat> which way should we go here? Let's go. We'll, we'll so Damian Pierce could be could be up in that tier for me. He could be in the next tier down. Obviously, the team situation is uh, is is not quite as good as some of these other situations. Obviously, the Jags are not winning games, but the offense seems you know a bit more competent than what's going on in in houston currently uh, but the usage is there for pierce the 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 visual uh perspective is there for what pierce is doing he's catching enough balls um you know there there's a very good chance that they maybe get cj stroud he, next year he's being more than serviceable as there are right one. and i think he's got the talent and 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 the explosiveness and all those kind of things to um uh, to be up in there with those guys so nobody Nobody with Pierce in that tier with the with with the ETs and the Walkers. No, man, I can't put him that high, man. Okay. I mean, I, I just so so you were saying you were cool with the three in that tier, Kenny, ET, and Swift, and you were throwing Javante also in there. Or you didn't have Swift in there. He didn't have Swift in there, but you would. Yeah, and then you're bumping Javante down to this next tier. Mm-hmm. And you're asking if Damian Pierce should be up with ET. I'm asking. Yeah, I'm asking if. I don't so think no, so. Everybody's. No, I can't. No. Everybody's out on that. There's I not the so. explosiveness. Okay. Well, let's go to the next tier then, real quick. I don't know if I agree with that statement, but just let me say my next tier. Yeah. Shut your mouth. Yeah. <laughs> Shut it, pal. All right. Let's go to the next tier. Go you ahead. Gonna, you lead us off. I'm gonna fucking vomit everywhere. <laughs> I've got Chubb, Kamara, then Swift, Harris, Jacobs. <laughs> he got his mic off for Technical difficulties. 
All right, I got a lot to unpack there. What do you got? I don't know. I got too many in here. Uh, I, I I guess I could go something similar. I think I got I got Javante, Dalvin, Eckler, Chubb, Jacobs, Pierce. I mean, I don't. This is a big ass tier. How many Where's, can you squeeze into a tier? All right, let's let's first start with. Why is Swift in this tier and not in the other tier? Because he can't stay healthy. Okay. That's, but when he does. That's, yeah, when he does, but he's yeah. not on the field. Still so only 23. Just reservation on that to bump him down a little bit. Yes. And you're good he with that. He only needs like eight snaps to make your fantasy <laughs> day. So like, Right. Well, that, Which is what, what keeps him in that next tier for me is that, yes, I don't like that either. Hey, it, that's what I, really, I fucking hate I will, it. I will say this. If he can, if he can, if he can stay on the field and produce at a halfway decent level the rest of the season, he's in the he's in the next tier for me. He's yeah. in the, he's in. I make that a four man tier. Yeah, and he's probably ahead of he's probably ahead of Javante. I, I agree with you though. That's what is what's keeping him up there is that you don't even really need that much usage from him, and it's and it's pretty solid. You don't, but the other the other problem is Jamal Williams is scoring a shit ton yeah. of touchdowns. Yeah, he's well. hurt. He's hurt, and and then that easily could be Swift. You know what I mean? Like, and they're they're. Why not? Why not preserve your dude? You're not fucking winning. And to be fair, Dan Campbell's probably not going to be the coach next year. So yeah. maybe the really? love. Maybe the love. For yeah, him. I mean they're one and six. Yeah, he's losing ground quick. Um, so he, I mean he can. I mean he can fight all one che- one one ass cheek man all he wants, but he can't win football games. Yeah, I, I just, you know I think I think what he what he has the brand he has is is good to an extent. Um, but you, he's you, a special you need to teams start, coordinator. You need to start putting things together, and he should probably be on the staff, not not. Uh, you know, maybe leading a meeting, not all the meetings, or assist, or he the assistant to Head the regional coach. manager. Yeah, right. I agreed. Um, so you know that could change. You know the dynamics of Jamal Williams and and Swift, but Swift needs to prove that he can be the guy. So that's okay. I'm okay with that. Uh, no mention of Najee for you, and then Najee down here uh, for for you. Yeah, I I gotta keep him here because of last year. I actually, I guess I did. I do have Najee in there in tier four. Just don't know how many to, to have in there. How you many can have as you many put? people as you want? You well, that's a large ass to, tier. To be fair, it just you know we're getting to the point. Like you pointed out a minute ago, like it's just it starts to get you know you got it's either you got there's guys left with some elite talent that are a little older, um, and then there's a couple of younger guys that that have potential juice. And now Najee is is definitely the the um, the guy who everybody hates right now. I mean, I saw a ranking earlier that had him as RB18, which was just wild to me. He's easy to hate. Yeah, I mean, if right here, this is, it's uh, seven guys in this tier. And that takes us to RB14. And I have no idea what order to put him in. Yeah. Like, I could stick with Najee being in that tier because I do we just did a whole video on him like about why you should go buy him because he's very che- he's cheap right now people are very down on him it just got even more cheaper with this last game like he hasn't had that like breakthrough game where he just scored a bunch of touchdowns or got a bunch of yards he hasn't been, looked very good either no it's been looking better but I mean yeah that team they just they just ran into another buzz saw yeah. they pl- fucking play the Eagles and we we talked about that. Go watch that video. Like we talked about the schedule, we talked about his injury preseason at the beginning of training camp. Then heard you know Liz Frank sprain, then injured it again week one, and like just hasn't quite been right. The offensive line isn't good. Rookie quarterback that didn't take any important preseason snaps. Like you know, just a lot of things working against Trubisky. Ter- or not Trubisky Harris. Najee. Terrible schedule and it, it should ease up a little bit and let's I mean I don't know maybe they just say this is kind of not a good year we want to probably you know they're not going to quit but like there's no reason for them to like run him into the ground necessarily so it yeah. might not get I mean, that they spent much a f- better they spent a first round pick on right. him right it might not get that much better for him yeah. this year and, so. the, and the nice thing is is Tomlin's not going anywhere mm mm Depends on who you talk to, but I agree. Fuck I them. There are morons. I don't yeah. think you should. The sometimes are smarter than that. Right. But sometimes things can get stale. I, I think it's fine. They've been, he's been so good for so long. Somebody would immediately snap him up and he would, Dude. he'd put them. He, he wouldn't, he, it would be like Andy Reid all over again. Yeah. Um, and, but you know, that got stale. Um, in Philadelphia with Andy. Well, yeah, and then he went and to the he, Chiefs on yeah. a Super Bowl. Yeah, but also, you know, they made the move to get Mahomes and then, you know, the rest is history. Sure, so, sure. I mean... Um, so they're, they're quarterback list right now and they're hoping Pickett's the guy and, and they did spend a lot of capital on Najee and maybe 
maybe you know Najee deserves to be down this list some for yes for, for not, sure for I mean, certainly where not was, playing I mean, well whether it is the list of things that we just came off of or maybe he's just not quite as good as expected now some people will say we told you so and I, I think it will probably we're down here we'll probably balance back out should he be at the top of the running backs list probably not um, but he certainly could be scoring top of the list running back points even if you don't think he's profiles as one of those great explosive players yeah um you know we like guys who catch balls uh you caught a bunch of balls in one season you caught some balls at alabama you're a good pass catcher but you know kenneth walker doesn't catch any balls and everyone's mad can't Najee harris catches balls and he's trent richardson yeah um because he's not explosive so you know i, I think Najee's going to be just fine i think he'll be a good running back for you um, I think it's just a combination of, of, of things and, and maybe not quite being needs to maybe be knocked off the pedestal that we had him on uh, a little bit. But there's I think there's still plenty of good. Sure. Uh, Probably Najee. should not have been a first round startup pick. No. That's I mean, if you don't have that injury in there and he's definitely lost some some of his, you know, ability to rush the ball and, and, and be that guy because he's, you know. Maybe we should have been a little bit more weary of a of a training camp Liz Frank's brain. Yeah, you know. And yeah, I'm, I'm, things I'm not going well for the Steelers. I'm They're certainly not out on Harris. Out I think he does need to be in this next tier. Um, I think he's got enough enough juice, enough too enough, young, too talented to be too, enough yeah. accolades, enough checks, enough boxes of hey, he could score touchdowns in bunches. Yeah, is he going to break off a bunch of big long runs? No, but he is. Very elusive. He can He's make, a doubles hitter. He's a right, doubles hitter. Right. He can he can hit for a high average and make you miss. And he's he, fucking he, Miguel Cabrera. He's got he's got you know he's a utility infielder. He can he can do a lot of things. He can catch the ball very well. Um, yeah, you know this week it was another bad play by Najee. Throw out to the flat, caught it, turned around, made a bad move. Then two guys came and tackled instead of running. You know it's just it's easy to pile on that guy right now, and that's what's happening. And I'll, I'll I'm okay with having. Uh, Najee here. Now you said Nick Chubb in this tier. Yeah, is that who you take next? So you got Javante in your last tier. Um, is Javante the next guy you would take? Is would he be at the top of this tier for you? Yeah, I, I think so. Just because of age and and what could be. Okay. And, and so then, who's at the top of this tier for you? I have Chubb down here, but I mean, it could be any of the first three guys, which are Chubb, Kamara, and Swift. It's probably should be Swift. Agreed. It probably yeah. should be Swift. So st- I'm gonna make I'm gonna make an executive decision and change it to Swift. So so sticking with Chubb though. Yeah, he's just playing too fucking good. Right. And he's gonna and he's gonna be without a, a he's gonna be without Cream going forward. And we're gonna have him with we're gonna have Watson. I'm not worried about Watson being able to. Oh, now he's just gonna he's not gonna be able to play running back anymore because his quarterback's too good for him to be good at football. Right. We kind of talked about that in the off season. I what? did want to say that. I mean, you were like, maybe his maybe his volume's better and whatnot. With, well, I mean, with I think Jacoby, that was the, that was the obvious play. Is that like, yeah, I think the volume goes up. Well, then, I think I think but the he's oppor- been incredibly efficient, right? But I think the opportunities and and the efficiency can get even better, and the scoring opportunities can get even better with with Deshaun Watson at the helm. So you know, you kind of what if Deshaun pick comes out poison? rusty and it's actually like that's fine. Then you run the ball. Back. Yeah, the run the ball. Yeah. Figure it out. Run the ball. Just give um, it to Chubb. Give it to Chubb. I think he's. I think I'll he's great. Chubb. Per- perennially uh, hated on. Um, if you tell me he's too low, that's that's a bit of a take. That's too a bit low. Of, I've had I had someone tell me he was too low at the top of this tier. I I I think that because of uh, of the the non necessarily pass catching ability that. He's a little touchdown dependent, which you could say about Kenneth Walker, who you just threw up there, but it's too young in the career for me to label him that as that. Um, no, I think I think Chubb is I'm fine with that. I think I think there's the disrespect on Chubb. You know, I think some people wouldn't. How could you put him any lower at this point? But I think, you know, all this offseason, nobody wanted anything to do with him. Really, he was always kind of the last guy standing. So, I'm, you know, I'm fine with that. Yeah, it'll be 27 in December, has a major knee injury in his college career devastating knee injury doesn't Which look like it matters wild. right yeah. now yeah there's not like a Todd Gurley issue there doesn't seem to be I mean at some point I guess this 10 to 9 is can, can creep up whenever right but uh doesn't seem to be he looks great 
And Gotta it, be take, it took like what an MCL injury for Todd Gurley, and then it kind of yeah. went down from there. So I mean, but that's anybody, right? So I, 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 yeah, I mean, so you got Kamara in there over Dalvin. Is Dalvin in this tier? Dalvin's in the next tier. So, so you got Kamara in. I here. have to take Dalvin over Kamara. I just like the receiving ability. Dalvin crushes receiving. Not like not, Kamara. not like Kamara does. But he did a lot more on the ground though. That's fine. Catches are worth more than carries. Are you not? You, you, you're probably going to miss him for a large chunk of next season. I wouldn't say a large chunk. So I would say six games is a pretty large chunk. We don't know that it's going to be six games. We don't know six games. We don't know if any games. We don't know if it's going to be any games. Seems like there's going to be some games. I'm just, I'm We're going to rank him uh, without suspension in there because it's unknown. Correct. These are also your rankings, sir. These right. are my rankings. You can I'm question saying him. I gotta take Dalvin over. That's fine. Kamara. That's fine. It's not like I have him 17 tiers below him. I, I gave you Damian Pierce in this tier. What else do you want me to do? I think I think I'd I think I would take I think I would take Dalvin over Kamara as well. Strictly because I will I, say I that Cook is Cook is at the near the bottom of the next tier. I feel better about the Vikings. Cook's near the bottom forward. of the next tier. Mm-hmm. As the Saints. Whew. I don't love the Saints moving forward right now from kind of what I'm, you know, it seems like there's a lot of question marks moving forward of who's going to be doing what for the Saints. So I, I like Kamara a decent amount, but I think I'd, I think I'd definitely rather have Dalvin. Okay. Um, Why so low on Dalvin? I don't know. I don't have an answer I, for that. That's fair. Sometimes you just don't, I don't have, have an answer for that. What, what do you got? Maybe I should have him higher. Maybe. What do you got? Maybe you should have him lower. Why not Eckler over all these guys? I think I think Eckler's right in there. He's he not he, in the next tier. He's had his bye week, dude. Come on, he's had his bye week. He's still RB one. Like, what are we doing? He catches passes. It's his age for me. He's like the same age as these other guys. He's the same age as he's the same age as Dalvin. He's the same also, age as he's and Kamar is twenty seven. They're all twenty seven years old, Bo. <laughs> they're, they're all, all twenty seven. They are. You can't all use age. That's fair. They're all the same age. Think, why isn't Kamara? Why isn't Eckler? No off the field concerns with him. No possible looming suspension. I think you got to put you got to put him in. Eckler's got to be. I mean, I, want, I think I want Eckler over Dalvin and Kamara. Easily. Maybe not. I'm easily, also worried, about, but. Isn't, I mean, isn't Eckler an unrestricted free agent at the end of the year too? Nah, they got him on the cheap another year. He needs another to fucking year? hold out, man. No, I, I, I think he's, I think he's playing cheap this year. He's playing cheap, two years. I'm pretty sure they got an awesome deal on him. I'll, I'll, I'll I think uh, you're right. Search, I think, search that I out. I think he's got another. I think he's got another year left. Like the concern with him is that he should hold out. But if he didn't hold out already, what was he doing? Nah, he's signed yeah. Next they got year. him for fucking nothing Five, next yeah, year. Next to nothing. They need to extend that man. Or yeah. he needs to hold out. Yeah. He def- he, he missed. Out he should have held out this year. No, I, I feel I feel like Eckler should be right in the mix here. I I, I think you got to pretty much put all these all those guys. Like I think this needs to be a pretty. I don't know how you can different diff, differentiate this the these you know these guys because it's really like the last group of elite guys, and then you got a bunch of you know you got all the you know you got the Monies and the Jacobs and the Sanders and the. Um, you know, the Gibsons and the, uh, you know, obviously you can't put Dobbins in there right now. Um, you know, you kind of got all those guys Ek- kind of looming around there. Joe Mixon, I guess, is, is really the next yeah. big question mark for me. Hate, um, but you guys always do this to me. I put these <laughs> fucking rankings that you guys just clown me. No, there's no reason. I'm not clowning you. Just... Just gonna talk through them. Just That's disagreeing. I, I mean, it's I, maybe I should have Eckler. I need apparently I need to have Eckler higher. Eckler has his. You don't need, his bye week. Just like you said a minute ago, they're your rankings. You could do right. whatever you want. Um, the only person within ten points of Eckler, and he had his bye week this week, is McCaffrey, who's within seven points. He's averaging 20, almost twenty five points a game, which is like. Did the, the next Niners, person play the Niners have their bye week? McCa- nope. They're having it this week. Oh, okay. Right. McCaffrey's got st- so that's the one thing I do like about MFL. My fantasy league basically is had a bye week already though because he got traded. Yeah, he had eight points. So I mean, CMC is is with that forty p- burger is competing with Eckler in terms of points per game, but the a- or total points, but the average. Like, I mean, 
we can argue about it, but I mean, it's, Eckler's it's also, averaging four more points a game. It's also sort of a cop out on my end to be like, you know, I'm 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 going to just put all these 27 year old guys in one in one big grouping here and just say I don't necessarily know what to do. I like I I would take any of them. Are you um, taking Chubb over those guys because he's one year younger? It sounds like he. he I think I would. But he doesn't like catch he any for, passes. It's like he for sure would. You know? Yeah. Which is kind of your like of the other guys. Or Kamara, right? Yeah. Chubb doesn't catch any passes, but he he's gotta, phenomenal. I, I I don't know what to do with these guys. I know that like in right now you can't you can't get a first round pick to trade them away. Like I'm just gonna fucking keep them. Yeah. Yeah. I mean Eckler is holding the most value right now, probably out of any of those guys. For anybody who's winning, trying to win, uh, you know Aaron Jones has got to be right in there. He's playing really well. Um, but I think I think you got to kind of group all those the Dalvins, the Kamaras, the Hecklers. I mean, really, Alvin, it's just been two weeks for Aaron Jones. Aaron, he was really struggling before that. These two weeks got him into the top. But he he's looks, still RB thirteen. He looks great. So I mean, I guess you could throw yeah. Aaron Jones at the bottom of that list, and then you know probably in the next group for me, you'd probably have Mixon is really the biggest question for me right now. Out of all those next guys, because he is—he's a year younger. He's—he's he's in the the Chubb threshold. What what are we, what are our thoughts on where do you have Mixon? He's in the next tier. Yeah, I don't have him in this tier. I yeah. wanted to be pretty bullish on him, and I wanted to like him, and it was like, oh, this phenomenal Bengals offense going to take a step forward. The offensive line—they added pieces. They'll figure it out. All that shit is wrong. Yeah, and Mixon. Terrible yards per carry, which I've never he's been boot. a strong yards yeah, per carry guy, but like catches this year. And the only reason he's staying afloat, I think I saw a stat in the game the other night that said he had 35 targets out of the backfield last year. This year, before this game started, he had 33. Yeah. So like he's already gotten as many targets out of the backfield this year through seven games that he had all last season. So it's keeping his points per game like serviceable you know but like we try to trade him for a first couldn't get a fucking first for joe mixon he's rb 17 right now averaging 14.6 points a game to be fair it would have been a really high first um that we would have, we're trying to get for joe i don't mixon. know if they're really predicting i guess they are trying to i don't know if they know what's going on he's rb 17 in points per game so basically here We've gone through some guys. We've got a big group of the older running backs in this next year. Somebody tier. traded, according to this, somebody traded two firsts for Mixon. Was uh, that you? Three days ago. <laughs> that was three last year. Ago. Three days ago. Yeah, I would love to get that a, from Mixon. A 23 right first and a 24 you. first. See yeah, he'd be gone on my team, too. Out of here. Um, how about, you know, we're talking about all these older guys. We kind of got this big, messy tier here. We're... Where we got Jacobs, Sanders, Montgomery, and then Ramondre. It's got to be kind of creeping around out there. It's I mean, just Jacobs show, has to be in this tier. I have you, right? Jacobs in this tier. Jacobs has to, like... I have Jacobs in this tier. Do you take Jacobs over all those guys because he's two to three years younger than all of them? Yeah. That was what nice. is he, 25? He's 24 right now. He came in really young. He won't even be 25 until February. So, like, he'll be 25 coming into next season. Yeah. So, like, he's got three years on all these old dudes. And Josh Jacobs is RB fucking it's getting, six. He's yeah. getting the usage you want. I mean, he's been a, a single digit it had a, RB. He had a down week this past week. He's yeah. still RB5 in points per game. Yeah. He's been a, a, a single digit RB guy for a couple of years in his career, and still nobody really cared about that. Nobody cares um, about him. That's for sure. Was he, like, RB8 the last, like, two or three years? He, yeah. Yeah. Um, Going to be with a new team most likely next year. Yeah. Yeah, I guess the Raiders have no incentive to pay him some more. They're like, I mean, they could. They, they I could mean, say, hey, you know, we had a bad year. We know what we got in you. We'll, you know, we get, give you, you know, 20 million for two. You know, 10 million bucks for a running back isn't the worst. No. They didn't want to give that to him. Well, right. I mean, it was a new, it was a but new regime. They're, they they didn't know yeah. what they had. Like just because they didn't pick up your fifth year option not, doesn't mean they didn't want to give it to you. It means right. let's see what we have. Yeah, but they they had to have watched the tape on. It's them, also man, guaranteed right? for injury as well too. Yeah, That'll be part of it. I think it was about ten million probably for a running back fifth year option average. I think they take the top five contracts and average them together, similar to like a. So you'd put Jacobs at the top of this near the top of this. I'm tier. asking. I don't know. He's at the bottom of this tier. Okay. But I also have Swift in this tier as well, too. Right, right. So it seems like we're, we're, we're kind of at an impasse here, so I don't know that how productive this next 
little bit of conversation could be. So are we not going to we're not going to address the elephant in the room at the what bottom of my tier here? Derrick Henry? No. What about how about Pierce? Do you guys have Pierce here, or is he down the tier for you? Oh no, Pierce is up here for sure. Okay. I almost okay. I could have put him in the last tier. That's a great. He was thing. asking about that last tier. Would Pierce be your next guy? For sure. You have Javante. You Javante, have Pierce Javante, over Javante. No, Javante then Pierce. You have well, he has Javante in the top of this tier. Okay. And then it would be Pierce next over Joe. I would pro- I would probably go Javante Pierce tier break okay. all the twenty sevens. Okay. And then you, I'm fine with throwing Jacobs in there. Okay. I don't hate that. Um, throwing P- Jacobs in the tier with Javante and Pierce no, or no, just no. with the 27s? <laughs> come on. Yeah. No, I'm just kidding. That's come not on. A, it's not a come on. It could be. Um, I think I think Jacobs has is, is got enough respect to, to be up in there with Dalvin, Kareem, Eckler. And I and you're probably right. For Eckler should probably jump jump that. And then maybe it would be... Um, Chubb in there as well, and then a, a, a tear break with with Aaron Jones and and um, you know you got to throw Zeke out of there. Where's Tony Pollard come in now? It's Mister 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 Big Chest coming in here after one, after one week of dropping thirty or whatever on you. Is, is Pollard shooting up the board? No, not yet. Pollard or Ramondre? Ramondre. That's easy. That's easy for me. And he likes Pollard. I don't even like Pollard. Although Pollard looked good. Pollard or Gibson? I have them next to each other. I got to stick with my boy. Who's that? Not Pollard. (laughs) (laughs) I do have Gibson ranked over Pollard. Yeah. I think Gibson can handle everything you want to throw at him. Maybe he... Should figure out how to stay I'm, a little healthy, but like, I'd say my biggest struggle right now is mixing and like I, I feel like you just gotta I just gotta have a giant tier right here of of mixing the twenty sevens and Chubb and and Jacobs. Jacobs. I feel like that's such a cop out, but I don't really know what to do. Like, I gotta put mixing. I, I know I want all those other guys over mixing, so that tells me he should be in a tier lower. I'd rather have yeah, Jacobs, have, all those twenty seven year olds. So I definitely would want them over mixing, so I'm. I, I have Mixon in the next tier. I got him, and and he's a big Mixon. Well, guy. it's just you know, we're we're in the middle of the season here. We're so, there's some just recency bias some in here. here. Talking yeah. through some here, having some fun. Uh, you know, yeah, we'll be re-ranking these guys six more times, and actually, you know, we have rankings, and we'll we'll be editing those and re-editing those and moving guys all around. I mean, Mixon finishes as the RB one through the next six weeks, and he'd be. You know, right back in this conversation, which is why why it's really hard for me to to kind of leave him out of there. So getting beat up by the Browns Monday night at, at, at Cleveland doesn't really like. It was just that was just a bad game all around. I just weren't nothing. Nothing was working. Nothing was good. The Browns had their number. I don't think the I don't think the Burrows ever beaten the Browns. Um, I think that was like the sixth straight or something like that. He's like McVeigh to. 49ers. Yeah, McVay can't get over the night. Well, he got over when it mattered, but one time. Um can't get over in the regular season. Yeah, Mixon's highest rushing game this year. Not good. No. No. So I think I'd leave just have this monster silly tier because I can't make up my mind right now, which is kind of a cop out, but I think it's worth talking about um Ramondre, Pollard, Gibson. Pollard's not close to me being Miles like- Monty there in the next year for me. What's your next year? I'll move Eckler up to the top. <laughs> <of> the <year. laughs> All right. Where you? Uh, Ramond- the pop. That was a decent one. Too. Uh, Ramondre, Aaron Jones, Miles Sanders, Mixon, Dalvin, Monty. You would have Aaron Jones in that other tier case? I'm okay. Believe it. It seems like Aaron Rodgers is probably fucking out of here after this year. So I'm okay with dropping uh, Aaron Jones down one just because. I don't know what the hell is going to happen there. Um, I'd have Dalvin up one, and then Monty Miles. What else, what else was in there? Mixon. Yeah, Ramondre. Ramondre. So Ramondre up in there with the likes of those guys. It's interesting to see how that's going to kind of pan out at the end of the season. How do you feel about? I think I think uh, you, you still can buy him. Right, like I think. Yeah, so I th- Harris is a free agent, 
and they're probably going to draft like they don't need to draft a guy. In the, well, they're definitely going to take a fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth, ninth, and tenth round running back. But I don't <sighs> care. I don't give Possibly. a fuck. Like, yeah, Ramondre, Pierre, baby. Yeah. yeah, Pierre Strong has done nothing, and Kevin Harris is. I think he's on the active roster now, but he's not doing anything if he's right. playing at all. Ramondre is fucking good, and he can catch, and he can pass protect, and it's more about what the fuck the whole offense around him is going to do. I, yeah. I feel very good about Ramondre, the player, the talent, and the ability of giving a workload. And they they seem like they want to give him a workload when Harris isn't there. They're not going to fucking pay Harris. I mean, maybe they maybe they fucking bring back. That would be the fucking worst. I'm going to bank. I'm going to gamble that they don't bring back Harris. Because Harris hasn't been crushing it this year, so maybe they can get him on the low. And they do that Patriot shit where they get these fucking guys for nothing and it's just fair. really stick it to you. And maybe just him being a fucking Patriot is enough to be like, ah. Oh, it would like, definitely be enough to be ah. But right now, it seems like Stevenson's kind of yeah. staked his claim a little bit, but maybe Harris isn't quite right. Mm-mm. Um Harris got more work this past week. He came off the injury, wasn't on the injury report. It's like them boys fuck with you. If you're hurt, you're not on the injury report. If you're not hurt, you're on the fucking injury <laughs> report. Like, how many weeks was was Myers questionable just going out there and slaying it? And then, yeah. He does then, have a rickety knee, but... Then uh, Harris is out a game the next week off the injury report. And yeah. then gets like two carries. Like, he was fucking still hurt. You yeah. just did, like, you just guys are the worst when it comes to like... Helping my fantasy team out, they, and they don't give a fuck about right. my fantasy team. And so, uh, you know, so we're we're keeping. That's why Ramondre's not up a tier. Or we're two. keeping Lenny and and I don't even mention Connor Lenny. out of those tiers, right? For me, um, for me as Several. well. AJ Dillon not living up to the billion biggest bust of the year so far, probably for from my perspective, far as what I was hoping to see. Still a good player, um, so probably some buying opportunity there, but not not in those tiers. I have a bo- I have a bottom of the next tier. Okay, um, but um, let's say Kareem Hunt goes to the Rams next year. Would he? How far up would he vault in in those tiers? Nobody wanted to give Kareem, up a fourth for Kareem Hunt. Because Kareem Hunt's Is probably really what it was. Probably about the same age as I think they were wanting more than a fourth. I, that's what the little sleeper note he said. It okay. said uh, maybe since Kareem they Hunt won, they weren't trying put, to trade Kareem. Yeah, Hunt. I think that's also part of it too. It said it said Kareem Hunt not moving. They wanted a fourth. It was kind of like a jab at Kareem Hunt that nobody wanted to pay a fourth for Kareem Hunt. It's like, why yeah, would I don't you? Know. I mean, clearly the Rams were willing to pay out. They were trying to trade two first or fucking Brian Burns. Yeah. So if if come or uh, if Hunt signs somewhere first. like the Rams, yeah, then twenty twenty four and twenty twenty five. Would you would you trade? Uh, Hunt sold too, right? Or would you, would you, where would you put Hunt in that? In that hierarchy of got of tiers, he would probably move up at Oof. least one tier. And how about Khalil Herbert taking over that backfield next year? I have him in the. He's in not the next year, but the following tier. So, what would? Because I don't know what that. I don't know what that's going to look like. Yeah. So we're just speculating there. I feel like he needs to be ranked in this list, but looking pretty good. He's looking very good. Yeah, and uh, like, it's almost like Justin Fields is playing well despite them wanting him to play well. They really want him to be bad so they can be like, well, well they we just, didn't they pick just him traded for Claypool. They so. did give him a little, seem like a nod. Let's see what we can, let's see what we have here. Yeah, try to give you some more help. Oh, so he had to prove that he was good enough to get some fucking help. I, I don't know that that's necessarily the case. I think came down to the trade deadline and they could they could get Claypool and they they swooped in late and and kept him from going to the Packers apparently. Um, They're like, let's get him some shitty player to fucking yeah. not go up and catch balls that he throws him, like Claypool. <laughs> and Keel Harry. So they can blame him again. <laughs> All right. Well, I feel like this is a good place to stop. I feel like it's getting a little hard to follow along with the yeah. tears. Where do you have Henry at? Would you have Henry in the next year? I don't year? think we said anything about Henry. We did not discuss Derek Henry. And I have Derek I disrespected Henry. him this year, and I'll probably disrespect I, him again. I have him in the next tier with Hunt, Gibson, Pollard, and Dylan. How many pass attempts did fucking... I, like, I don't know. Maybe. Malik Willis have like four. That was more than like, that. They know that they're gonna give it to Derrick Henry thirty times, and they still beat them boys. Like, how did they get a win? Just, I mean, like, what, I mean, didn't he the put Patri- the whole team on his back. I mean, didn't the Patriots have like two, like two or three passing attempts last year in that one game? He yeah, had, he had uh, he had um, six maybe. Was the Patriots game? He had ten. Ten pass attempts. Yeah, six for ten. 
55 yards interception QBR of four. Derrick Henry but brought them boys with W. I'm Against gonna, the Texans. <laughs> I'm going to be following Ramondre, Gibson, and Pollard ADP and trades and all that stuff kind of pretty closely. I think there's there's probably some value in some of those guys, potentially maybe not Pollard because I think he'll, he, he'll shoot up, but I'll be interested to see where he kind of levels out. Um, It'll be interesting to see his workload oh, moving when forward. Zeke comes back, even regardless of what Jura says. Yeah. <laughs> Interesting. Yeah, agreed. But James Cook right now probably dead from Naheen Hines a little bit. That so he's that got that got stung for for the potential growth of. You finally had a game where maybe you were seeing the a little Bills bit of growth of, for Naheem Hines. Yes. yes. Breaking news to you. To know, you. Yeah. It was right at right at four o'clock. And they traded away Zach Moss too. Yeah, they gave up a six and Zach Moss for Hines. Really? Yeah. Cook had a finally had a pretty good looking game. Rushing and receiving? No, no, dude. It I mean, he, he it wouldn't take a, very much for James Cook to skyrocket up. Aesthetically, but. he looked good. It wasn't like he didn't fill up the stat sheet necessarily. Um, but he looked Gibson good all of a sudden it. catching balls because he couldn't catch balls when uh, he was the main guy. But now win. he's, you know, it's, it's I think he knows what the fuck's up. I'm situation. gonna throw it to these fucking studs. Monty's probably yeah, gonna be McClure good value. And, yeah, right. I think we'll end up with some good Montgomery value in the offseason or heading into the offseason here again. Unrestricted free agent, right? Um, well, It'll be interesting to see what season. happens with some of these the, these guys in that class who none of them got their fifth-year option picked up. Mm-hmm. About Sanders, it, Monty, Yes. Right, Sanders, Jacobs. unrestricted free agent, Monty, unrestricted free agent. Yep. All right, well, let's wrap this up. Um, appreciate you guys. Be sure to like, subscribe, uh, five-star review, all that kind of stuff. Still doing the T-shirt giveaway, so... Send us a five-star review, um, and we'll enter you in a t-shirt giveaway on any platform. Uh, All those good things. We'll be back with the Monday live stream uh, next week, so be sure to tune into that. Uh, You guys got anything else? Going to have to put the word discussion in the title of this video. Yeah, for sure. People are going to come here wanting a list, and they're going to be very salty. Is it a loose, loose discussion on where we're at, where we're standing? Those are kind of silly anyways. Like, they're, they're so fluid. They're always silly as fuck. Especially they're so Dynasty fluid. Wise. And if you were to, like, what I don't want is you to take a list and go to your draft and be like, well, I got to take this guy over this guy because he's above this guy than this guy. And it's just like, it's also subjective, fluid. What is your build like? It's just impossible. What, who do you like? What do you like? What kind of style do you have? Like, there's just so many different ways to win. And, like, just because I put Eckler over Dalvin and Kamara doesn't mean that's what you need to do in your you know like I'm just and the tiers are so much more important than because you can just like pass on a guy in the tier and take the last guy in that tier you know and integrating the tiers and rounds and and the build and you know how you're you know all that kind of stuff um a draft map is sort of you know Something that you need to figure out on your own using maybe a, a few sets of different tiers and, and how you like to do it. So that's kind of I, I think the, the majority importance. of people just want to fucking list, and that's why they don't necessarily I love think, these I think shows. That, I think that may be true in this redraft, is like for but Dynasty. I think in Dynasty... Even in, there's the cash Dynasty fan now. Yeah. A lot of people are playing Dynasty. They just want to fu- just put them in a fucking order and shut the fuck up. But they don't, you know, we're trying to educate you and make you think and like... One the whole lot of education own, here is more just for fun. Develop though. your own style of how you want to play it, and like, you know, there's more than so many a million ways to skin a cat. Like, more than one way. I don't you can't just uh, who's skinning cats? That's what I always wanted to know. But serial killers. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> On that note, we'll see you next week. <laughs> Et Walker and y'all. Pierce, suck it, haters. Oh yeah, for sure. Big fat girthy victory lap (laughs) what are you staring at me for Uh, for the girth all right Uh, (laughs) old soda can I just wanted to hit the outro music for a third time really appreciate you guys for joining us if you made it this far I think the podcast people making it this far I don't know if they're watching this long on YouTube they're just like ah just give me a fucking list but love all you guys. If you got hate, hit me in the comments below. Send me that five star. DJ Moore, baby. <laughs>
Your dad's gonna come back after you soon. Oh yeah. Nah, he's already unsubscribed, tuned the out, blocked. Still this. listening. Those motherfuckers would be like, oh, 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 oh. yeah, you are. <laughs> still be listening. <laughs> Hit me up. I'll still take a can of beans. I could probably get like two cans of beans now. PJ Walker, the future of uh... no. <laughs> Stop. Well then, I'm okay. Well then, no more DJ Moore then, because that's what it took. And he was definitely the reason they lost that game. If he would have taken his football off, his helmet head of, off. Head of officials. McLaurin did the same thing, and yeah. they got no call. Yeah. This is dumb. It was terrible. They said that they said on the Sunday night game that he shouldn't have been flagged for that. Terrible call. That was a terrible call. You got to leave your helmet on. Pretty McLaurin sure that's the did rule. the exact People same thing. That's a different helmet. game. And it didn't even score a touchdown. That's a different game. He did. You're right. He didn't. He was I was wondering. I was one. actually like, why aren't they throwing the flag on this man? Stupid. But Ball. then he had to kick a 49-yard extra point. Still and that stupid. man blew it in overtime, too. He missed two kicks. So. Who's yeah. that? Joey Sly? Pinera or something. Oh, oh, oh Eddie Pinero. Eddie Pinero. Yeah, I think yeah. Joey, yeah, Joey Sly is the, the uh, commander's kicker. Maybe. I don't fucking know. Way to get that right, the team name. I always fuck that up. Yeah, well, what's the reasons for Washington. that? Washington. All right, we're really out of here this time. <laughs> Peace.